Hey guys, Mark Tuccio here. Just thought I'd talk a little bit about the uh, Android app we released today and Bluetooth connection and how to go about it. Um, first, I'll just talk about the hardware a little, some options you have in cabling, and then we'll just go ahead and hook it up to a brand new brain that I just pulled out of a box. It's not been hooked to a helicopter or nothing. Um, of course, the first thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth module. And this is a Cryos module that I get basically from eBay. I will put a link in the thread where I post this video. It comes with a cable that's got a standard um, uh, like servo size pinning on it which will not plug into the brain. MSH has um, a couple of cables that they're selling on the active market. They're direct plug-ins for this module. Uh, the first one is basically a uh, 210 millimeter version of the cable. Part number is MSH51608 and this basically is a direct plug into the brain to the cryos module and the second one is just a shorter version of it and the part number on that, this one's only 110 millimeter, the part number on that is MSH51607. Um, if you want to just get a comparison actually I have both of each of these here you know I have a 210 hooked up to the brain and that's a 110 next to it. So you get a little bit of a size comparison. So what do you need to do? Basically you're going to install the cable in the brain. Now the end that goes in the brain, the uh, positive lead is on the top. The two wires in the middle are the transmit and receive and the bottom lead is a ground. The other end plugs into the cryos module and that's real simple and basically I haven't even opened this. So this is pretty much a brand new module, so let me get that open. And pull this out. I mean, this cable, as you can see, is just basically a uh, standard servo type end, computer end as I call it. Works well on multi-Wii and that's what it's for. Um, I'm just going to pop this off. I don't need this anymore. And all of this stuff is pretty much useless right now. And then effectively, all we do is plug in the cable from MSH. So, that being said, you're pretty much done with your installation of the cable. I just have a 2S Lifey pack here that I'm going to power this with, but this hasn't been bound, nothing's been done, so we'll show you how simple it is. Basically, I'm just going to put power on this. Now, of course, be very careful on your polarity protection or polarity using an older one the ground leads on the bottom powers in the middle the top is open um, after you plugged in the module the unit's going to go through its initialization since I'm not bound to anything I'm just going to have a red flashing light here the Bluetooth modules also be flashing because it's not bound or paired to anything or talking with anything so it's just sitting there sending out its signals right now to hook it up here I have a, a Samsung Galaxy 2 tab and I'm just going to do this quick for you guys, which is, okay, we're going to just go into our uh, settings. We're going to go into Bluetooth. Oops, turned it off. Go into Bluetooth. It's going to scan for available devices. It pops up with a MAC address. My PC. Basically going to hit the MAC address. Now these modules I buy from eBay, the pairing code on these is just four zeros. So we're just going to put that in hit OK and it'll start and it says paired so that's paired successfully the default on these units is you know when you get them from the eBay guy is cryos underscore BT you can rename these if you have an FTDI module serial communication or if you have two Bluetooth devices you can do it I actually made a little harness so I can have two Bluetooth devices talking to each other and I can uh, you know rename it that way to, um, now that you're paired, you're pretty much done. Of course, you need the app. To get the app, it's pretty simple. Just go into your Play Store. Find it quick. Just go to a search for MS Heli. And that will come up with the only selection available in the store, which is the brain, of course. Package costs $5.99. Download the package, download and install. Um, 
one thing you do need to know is it needs to be hooked up to Wi-Fi on the first run because it will do a license check on the Wi-Fi so it has to be connected to an internet channel to do that I already have this installed so I, I don't you know need to download this now so we're just gonna back out of this go back home I'm gonna just close out of that settings and the Play Store as you can see on my first page here I already have it installed I'm gonna launch it it comes up with the paired device that I've already put in there which is the Cryos Bluetooth I hit that saying it's connecting to the device and the thing you should notice is the module that was blinking is now solid so it's made the connection and there you have it you're hooked in you're good to go if you want to get to the advanced side just hit your menu button in the corner go to advanced it will take a few seconds to get over there but once it gets over there it, it's fine um boom we're in the advanced side we can do anything that we do on the PC here it works very nice all your setups are in here you know if you want to look at your flight logs we have a, a flight stats menu of course this hasn't been plugged in anything you can reset your counters your flight logs are there your advanced is here if you want to reset the factory dump default you can do that from in here um, or of course you can get back into the basic and just walk through this setup you know just like we would you know in the PC software so that's about it guys there isn't a whole lot to it and uh, you know I've been playing with this for quite a while and it's worked really well it's really nice being able to go to the field with this and not have to carry a PC with me um, highly recommend doing this if you do a lot of tuning on your machines or testing as I do um you know i hope this helps you guys out and shows you how easy this is thanks again and i'll talk to you guys soon